Hi, welcome to lecture series on C and data structures. In today's lecture, we will see the elements of C program. So, uh, any programming language will have its own grammatical rules and uh, uh, basic elements. So, we should know about these basic elements to uh, be proficient in that programming language. So, here are a few of the elements that are used in C program. First one is the uh, character set. So, if you want to communicate with the computer, uh, you should know a language to communicate with the computer, right? So, if you want to communicate with a person, either you will communicate in English or Tamil or uh, in Hindi. So, there should be some common language to communicate between two persons. Similarly, if you want to communicate with a computer, you should know the language that the computer can understand. So, this computer language consists of various characters uh, which is used for, which helps or assist in communication. So, the character set consists of all lowercase letters from A to Z and all uppercase uh, letters from A to Z. It consists of digits from 0 to 9 and uh, it contains uh, special characters like uh, um, exclamatory mark, uh, uh, add symbol, hashtag, dollar symbol, many more. It also contains white spaces. White spaces are nothing but the uh, new line characters. If you want next line, if you want to go into the next line, that is a new line. If you want to give, include a tab space, that is a white, considered as a white space. So these are few of the character sets uh, in the C program. So next comes the keyword. So uh, keywords are uh, some uh, predefined words with special meaning, which is uh, known to the C compiler. So these keywords cannot be used as variables because uh, if if you are trying to assign a new meaning to the keyword, the compiler may not understand because these keywords will have a predefined meaning which is fit to the compiler. So in C program, we have totally 32 keywords. So those are auto, do, or go to, sign, and sign, break, double. So if you see, all the 32 keywords has been listed. So these keywords obviously should not be used as variable names or even it cannot be used as function names also. So next come the identifier. These identifiers are also called as variables. Uh, these are a combination of alphanumeric characters. So, though it is a combination of alphanumeric character, obviously the first letter has to be the alphabet or an underline, and remaining can be combination of letters or numbers or an underline. So, there are two rules when you are uh, defining an identifier. First rule is the case of the alphabetic character is significant. So. As I have said earlier, uh, C program is case sensitive. So using index in uppercase for a variable is not same as using the index in lower case or uh, using the term index with mixed cases. So all three refers to different variables. So as C is defined, up to 32 significant characters can be used and will be considered significant by most compilers. If more than 33 are used, they will be ignored by the compiler. So these two rules are, should, are to be kept in mind when you are defining an or when you are creating an identifier or variable. So next comes the uh, data type. Uh, data type refers to the domain of allowed values and the operations that can be performed on those values. In other words, data type, type uh, refers to the type of data a particular variable can hold. A type of variable determines how much space it occupies in storage and how the big patterns store in interpreter. There are four fundamental data types in C program, such as integer, float, uh, character, and double. Integer is used for storing uh, integer values. Float is used for uh, storing a decimal value. And character is stored for, used for storing a single character. And double is used for storing uh, double precision floating values. So if the decimal places are huge, we will use double. So we can, in addition to this, we will use two qualifiers. Uh, so they are assigned qualifier and uh, size qualifier. So by sign, means of signed qualifier, we have two things, signed and unsigned. So you can declare like signed int or unsigned int. By means of size qualifier, again, we have two, short and long, short and long int. We can declare like that. So these are the various classifications of uh, data types and its associated storage size has been uh, shown and the value range is also shown here. So character takes a uh, storage size of one by its value range is minus 128 to 127. Unsigned character take also takes one byte and its value is shown. Integer takes two bytes, sometimes it takes four bytes also. Unsigned also it takes uh, normally two bytes and sometimes it takes four bytes. Uh, short and will take only two bytes, it will not take four bytes. So unsigned short also takes only two bytes. Long and this, uh, it will not take two bytes, it will take four bytes of memory. 
and then side long it will take uh, four bytes so float by default take four bytes a so double will take eight bytes long double will take ten bytes so uh, next comes the constant a constant is an entity uh, whose value will not change uh, irrespective of the situation there are two type of constants one is primary constant and other one is secondary constant so primary constant includes integer constants real integer and character constant whereas secondary constant includes arrays pointers structure union enumeration so next are the variables so variables are names that are used to store the values uh, it can take a different value but one at a time a uh, data type is associated, associated with each variable and it decides what value the variable can take. When you decide a pro, uh, program needs another variable, so you simply declare a new variable so that the program can make use of it. All the variables are declared at the top wherever block of code needs them. So it should be variable declaration is the first step before you start writing the block of code. So this is how you declare the variable data type followed by the variable name. So statements assigning values or statements. So these are if block while all these are uh, statements. So that's all. So we are done with the uh, character set and C. Hope you are understood what is character set and C. Uh, next lecture we will see the input output statements in C program. So thanks for watching.